Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? I have finished the mowing and I just wanted to show you this, this huge great big mud heap here, or mud hole. Um, I didn't actually know this was here and it's uh, it's very, very cool. I, I do like this. It's, it's little touches like this that I think really do make a map. And this is it's just brilliant. I, I, yeah, it's, there's just something about that little tiny bit there. It's only just like a, a graphic on it. It says nothing else, no other interaction on it, but I still thought that was pretty cool so um yeah let's get ourselves up out of the mud hole and we can continue on our way so i have finished doing all of the mowing um we have a couple of other slight issues that we're going to have to deal with one of which i've updated the season's mod now we're running on 1.1 rather than uh 1.0 uh, um, that doesn't seem to have produced any problems whatsoever with um, sort of migrating it over. So that one is just fine. However, uh, the Vidaman also had an update, which I installed the update, but unfortunately it was two separate mods. So I had to remove the old one and then install the new update. Um, I mean, I could have just kept the old one in, but I thought, no, I won't do that. Um, but what it means is that although Seasons has been recognised and it's sort of picked up where Seasons has left off, the Vitamin has done no such thing and it has now disappeared from the save game. So, to keep with continuity and to keep everything running as realistically as possible, it's with great sadness that I must announce that our um, classic Vitamin that we have had on our farm for a little while now has been stolen. Last night, thieves broke into the farm and they stolen our vitamin. It is no longer with us. They also pinched all of the implements with it as well, which is it's awful. The, the fact that there are people out there that would do things like that to us is just disgusting. So we have no vitamin on the farm. Um, we have no monetary compensation for it as the insurance company are refusing to pay out because... Look here, we have a gate right there. And our CCTV cameras, which we do have on the farm, there's, uh, well, we've got, a, we've got an outside light there, but there's also CCTV around here. Um, they show that the... How do you open the gate? Oh, there we go. Um, they show that the gates weren't locked, and um, that is enough for the insurance company to say that, um, yeah, that they're not paying out. Now, despite the fact that you can categorically prove that uh, they came and inspected the farm and they said it was okay, and the thieves could come up that track right there without any problems whatsoever and help themselves to anything because we have, you know, everything is wide open. According to the insurance company, that doesn't matter. The thieves came in that way and that has a gate that can be locked and that might have been enough of a deterrent to put them off and therefore they are not paying us a single cent we are not getting a single euro for it so uh, yeah unfortunately the vitamin has been stolen and we are not getting anything for it um and that oop, i thought the pto had to be undone first oh well um so yes that is the unfortunate case of the vitamin however my question that I asked you all last week was, did you want me to do potatoes or sugar beet this week? Uh, not this week, uh, next year in game. Um, I have 1,733 people answer that question, and of those 1,733, 634 felt that sugar beet was the way forward, and 1,099 people felt that the answer was actually potatoes. I don't know why I'm putting that in there. We're going to be using this mower uh, fairly soon to go with our um, uh, forage wagon. So if we take this one over and put it near the forage wagon, it'll be then ready to use. And we got because we're going to need to get more grass for the cows. We we still have a severe lack of grass for the cows. So yeah, we will be next year doing potatoes. And let me just um, take off the PTO and that one, and we can put this tractor away. Then we're going to head over to the shop. And we're going to buy our next tractor and machine. Actually, I'm just going to stuff this tractor right in this shed right here, just like that. There we go. Okay. I'll meet you at the shop. Right. We are buying our Fiat 4500 series. 
Uh, wheel setup, we will stick with standard. The engine setup, I'm going to go for the biggest engine possible. Now, I have said previously that we will do John Deere colours on anything that we can do, and we will leave it. Now, the rim colour is the only one we could change, so we could change that to John Deere, but it seems kind of pointless as we can't actually change the colour of the tractor itself. So we will just stick with the tractor as it is. This is going to be a 54 horsepower tractor. There we go. And come back out of there. So, yeah, my question was all about potatoes and this machine right here is causing i don't know i hope it's not the machine that's causing me a little bit of lag but we've got the tractor there is the tractor i had people tell me that they had issues with the camera view on this one that doesn't seem to be causing any issues i'd say that was just fine i i can't see any problem with that one this tractor actually looks really cool. I really like this tractor. This is a well-made tractor. So we've got this potato collector here. And just climb off a minute and hitch it on. That goes on to the three-point linkage on the drawbar across the back. And then we hitch on the PTO as well. So let's put that on. And I've just got to back up there. I like this tractor. There's something about this tractor that looks really cool. That's got an, that is a nice effect on it. So anyway, this particular potato harvester, what we do to um, this one is you unfold it like that. It goes around sideways. There we go. And that is all that it does. Um, you lower it. So literally the, the, um, the tractor will drive along. This doesn't dig potatoes up. This just collects potatoes off the surface of the field. So if we turn this on, there we go, that will start collecting potatoes off the surface of the field. I don't think that the Fiat is, actually the Fiat will work, it will do it, um, but you've got to use another trailer, um, another tractor and trailer sort of to go with it, to go alongside it, and that's the only downside that I can see to it, but we can use follow me or something like that in order to make it work. There's another mod that isn't on Mod Hub at the moment that will go that goes along with this one. That um, what it does is it lifts the potatoes and leaves them on the field in a line. So that is the machine that we're going to try to use to do our potato harvesting. I will get the other one. I don't know when, and um, so it'll all be ready for next year. I am taking advantage of the seasons. Um, ability to purchase a machine and then return it within 30 minutes so that I love the squeaky brakes oh, that's brilliant <laughs> yeah if you return a machine within 30 minutes um, for seasons you get back everything that you paid for it so if we sell that one a minute there we go and we want to go to the shop and we need to buy something to start turning our hay now then my original plan wasn't to use, uh, actually it was to use tethers, it was to use the hay bob. We've got the Vicon hay bob, which is a 1.2 meter, um, oh these are PZ Zwiegers hay bob, and then we've got the Vicon hay bob here. Um, two different ones. Um, but yeah, oh that's a used one as well, for 3,200 euros instead. My original idea was to use the hay bob and then we could um, row up with it as well, but it's only 1.2 meters wide and I don't currently have course play installed on this map and I also don't have um, the fields can't use the hired help. So I'm thinking that we'll do that next year and we'll do small bales next year. So this year we're just going to go with this one here um, and we'll select that one and buy it for 1500 euros. There we go. And we'll use these two. So we'll use the little Fiat to pull the hay tether, and we'll use the, the little Sip, um, is it Sip Spider or something? We used to call them a centipede. We had, a, it was a trailed one, it didn't go on a three-point linkage, it was a trailed one, and we called them a centipede. You could get, uh, the one that I used on, um, where I did most of the hay that I did when I was um, growing up, The that one we had, um, like four sections on it um, and they look very much like this except it was just trailed rather than on the three-point linkage it had four of these rotors on it um, but I've also used one on a farm that the centipede had six rotors instead of four and it was absolutely brilliant I really liked it um, I thought it was a fantastic um, little machine and it's, it's something that I've always wanted to get later on. It's, you don't see them anymore. You, you just don't see farmers driving around with a little trailed centipede. 
you just see them with, well, the newer ones that kind of go on a three-point linkage. You just all fold up and it's like huge, great big tangle of um, bits and pieces everywhere. Uh, but anyway, my question for this week, before we go any further, is that I do have the Vidaman mod still available. Um, not the one that got stolen, that one I've gotten rid of. And we've got the replacement Vidaman mod. And if I... The squeaky brakes are so cool. I can I can see that they're going to get annoying after a while, but they're still very cool at the moment. Um, is it under front loaders? Vitamin, vitamin, vitamin. Don't forget to take your vitamins. Um, it's not there. And I think it's under wheel loaders, actually, wasn't it? So if we scroll down through here, there we go. Right, so we do have this one back. Do you want me to buy this back? Do you want to see this one back on the farm? That one will no longer just get delete the grass, I don't think. I'm not sure. We will have to take a look at that one, but I got rid of the uh, ground response mod that it sort of goes with. Not ground response, ground modification. I got rid of that because there were a few issues with it. Um, so, yeah. Question this week. Do you want me to buy back another vitamin, buy a replacement vitamin to replace the one that got stolen and the insurance company is refusing to pay out on? Or would you rather I just stick with what we got? Because we do have the Z2 of the front loader and we've got the JCB telehandler. So yes or no on a replacement vitamin. It's your vote. It's your game. Head into the comment section down below. Let us know which one you want and why. And of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner. Now, what is this tractor doing? I thought that I seen it doing some damage. So I, no, maybe not. Right. Uh, we want to lower that one down and unfold it. Excellent. Okay, I already like this mod. It's small, it's compact. It's going to take forever to do the actual tedding, but still. Um, I might try between now and next episode to put course play on here, and we could see about um, course playing some of this. Uh, although, at the same time, I'm reluctant to use. Okay, apparently, it's going to make the track struggle a little bit. The reason uh, I'm reluctant to use course play on this map in particular is when you use course play, you have lines all over the place. And I it, I really think it distracts and detracts from like uh, what you're doing. I, th I think it does sort of spoil the whole image of um, how everything is running, uh, having all these lines everywhere. I think that it, it kind of does more to spoil um, realism than anything else does. Um, well, I don't know. I don't, sort of give give me your opinions on that. Maybe I won't do it in the next episode. Maybe I'll wait a week or two before I um, use course play if I'm going to. Can I don't think we're going to be able to get a full two widths on this every time. No, we're not. So let's, let's not try to go for a full two widths every time. And we might be able to get on a little bit better with this. I do like it, though. I have done hay turning like this with a small turner in small fields on a small tractor i have spent many many hours doing hay turning like this um and yes when you get into a big field with the small turner and the small tractor it can be a little bit soul destroying to um know that you've got to get through it all but at the same time it's very rare that it's actually an unpleasant task i've only ever sort of very occasionally it's been an unpleasant task when it's been particularly hot. Um, and what with my orange hair and all, um, too much sunshine is generally bad for me. I do tend to start smoking around the edges if I get exposed to too much sunlight. Um, but it's nothing that factor 50 sun cream and a hat doesn't cure. So usually I'm all right. And you can just sort of carry on with your hay turning. Let's go in cab a minute. I don't like the way that it is. It is sticking slightly onto the ground, so it's pulling the tractor around a little bit. But generally, this is really cool. I'm really liking this. I know this this view does sort of make me feel a little bit queasy, actually. Um, yeah, there's, there's always something about that view that's it's not quite right, is it? The animation on the actual tether is on the Turner is a little bit slow, but generally speaking, I'm quite pleased with it. Um, it is it's accurate. It, it is at least accurate with the way that the, um, the things are in the ground. And if that was accurate, I would have just put in a great big dent in it and probably twisted up one of the arms as well. Not been very popular with anybody at all. So we just pick that up and we back up here and get the bit that I missed because I'm trying to cleverly 
um, look at the machine as we drive along so that we can admire it in all its glory and that doesn't always work and especially with a trailed one you always um, you can't pick the trailed one up that's what I liked about the trailed one it wasn't possible to pick it up and um, like squash some of the stuff into the ground some of the hay so you could go backwards and that would just kind of scoop the, um, the grass up into a bit of a heap um, if you went really slowly oops, let me just back up there I've missed a bit right in the middle if you went really slowly you'd end up kind of leaving it in a little bit of a windrow um, and we did once do that to protect against the rain coming along um, we just went really really slowly around the field with that one plus we used the hay bob to go around and row everything up because that's all we had for doing the rowing up was the hay bob and and that sort of it was in, in order to help protect against the rain I don't personally I don't think it made any difference um, it all got wet and then we had to go and spread it all out again bef um, after it rained so I, I think that was kind of a a waste of time personally but um, the guy at the time he, he was certain that that was the way forward so that's what we ended up doing because it was his farm not mine uh, <laughs> there you go sometimes you've just got to kind of get on with things and do it even if you don't want to right let's try and look out the other way a little bit now if we come up this way we will weave in between these and we can start going out across the end of the row I always did Whenever I was turning a field, I was always told, just keep going round and round and round until you reach the end. Um, don't try anything fancy. You don't need to worry about doing land work or anything like that. Just go round and round until you reach the end of the field. Um, and I've never really found a reason to not keep doing that. Um, I suppose when you work the big fields in Farming Simulator, it does kind of work better if you work... Um, do land work just keep going up and down but generally I'm gonna do these fields how I used to do them so I'm gonna try and do these today like I said I don't think we'll use the hay bob this year um, to do the rowing up because we're using a bigger baler we're gonna use the round baler to do the hay and because we're using a bigger baler we could easily get away with some bigger rows I was actually thinking that I would try and use a modded ra a mod round baler that I've seen someone did provide a link for it a little while ago um, and I will go and find that before next episode it's basically it's one that um, goes out to the side and requires much less horsepower I mean I know that we've got the round baler here on on the farm it's um, it is over there somewhere I think um, which we could we could use that but we could stick with that round baler and just do our hay with that and then I'll um, maybe n actually yes that's what we'll do I will use the old antique type round baler in next year's hay rather than this year's hay and we will also so we'll do some with that one and we'll do some with small bale hay as well um, and we'll also use the hay bob to do the rowing up because by that time we should have ploughed all these fields um, and that way we can avoid doing what I didn't really want to do in the first place which is using course play on this map. Um, I really don't like the idea of having the lines and dots and everything all over the place because I think that really does spoil the overall effect of trying to keep everything realistic. So if we've got a... if we plough up the grassland in the autumn we will plough the grassland up and then we will replant it with grass and then next year we'll be able to use hired help to do these tasks. So I can set the hired help uh, working on this field with a turner and I can go to another field as well and set the hired help working on there so we are basically in charge of the farm as per usual and we've got our hired help doing all the different things that they're supposed to be doing um, in all of the different fields I think that will actually work out quite well It'll work out quite nicely I don't know what do you guys think head in the comment section give me your opinions on it how badly would you I know that some of you really want me to use course play some of you think that this map would be great for using course play some of you have said that you don't think that I should use course play on this map because of the um, reasons that I have just told you because of the whole the lines and the dots everywhere which I think kind of does spoil it a bit or at least for me um, but I'd love to hear all of your opinions and hear what you what you think about those different things um, do you like using course play? Do you think that course play would take away from realism? I mean, we're using things like the manual attachment mod, which is, for those of you who are asking, it's the one that's straight off of Mod Hub. I haven't gone anywhere else to get it. It's um, just, uh, it's actually not that far back on the list, I don't think, because it was recently updated. 
Um, so that is the mob that I'm using, the one straight from Mod Hub. Let me just um, back up a little bit there. It's that tiny bit. Um, so, yeah, does course play fit with the realistic theme that we're trying to achieve on this map? If you think it does, if, it, if, if we could sort of do that and it would fit in, um, okay, then, yeah, we, we'll give it a go. Um, it will sort of depend on what the majority of the comments say, though. I, I'm not going to put this to a vote or anything. I'm just going to see what the comments say, because at the moment, I'm personally reluctant to, because I don't like the effect that it gives. But if... You know, it's obvious from the comments that most of you do like the idea of it and think that it could actually help us out quite a bit. Um, then I will look past my own misgivings of using it and we'll give it a go. We'll see what we can do with it. We're almost done with this field here. Oh, I missed, missed another bit there. So we'll finish this one and then we can go straight over the road and do that field over there. That one's the one that we've got hardly... Uh, well, we've only got like half a cut on it, haven't we? We've... Um, We've got a lot less grass in that field than we do on the rest of them. Um, and we we got four fields, haven't we? Yes, we have. we got four fields. Also, incidentally, I did finish between last episode and this one. I finished planting all of the corn down in... You know, I don't even remember what the field is. Uh, field 86 has now been completely planted with corn. And plus all of those there. So we've just... Everything is now planted. The only things that we've now got are... I will need to go back and do a bit of fertilizer, I think, on those two fields. So if we just take a quick look at the fertilizer situation. Yes, those three fields need fertilizing. Um, but they had fertilizer applied when we planted. So we're going to have to wait until we've had a growth stage before um, they're ready. I don't know when we're going to be able to harvest this lot, though. We might have to wait a long time before that's ready for harvest. Or the, on the other hand, we might end up doing it all as silage and take it back and just do maize silage, depending on the amount of grass that we've got. Because it is going to be a little way behind. But anyway, um, today we are turning hay. And a little tiny bit left right. There's one field done. We've done one field and we're nearly at the end of the episode. Um, one other thing that I do need to do fairly soon is I need to go and um, I'm deliberately keeping it down on the ground, by the way, and running to the end of the field so that I can avoid um, having it up in the air and running while I'm driving along the field. And if we just lift it up and stop, move into the next field. There we go. And away we go again. It's as simple as that. I always found it very quick to go between fields with these little hay turners. Um, you, you didn't really have to stop and worry about um, lots of folding up or anything like that. Some of them you could get through without having to do any folding up at all. The thing I loved about the centipede was there was no hydraulics on it. Um, you got out of the cab, you pulled out a couple of pins and you just pushed it round manually and then popped a couple of pins back in again and it was in transport mode or it was in uh, work mode. It was really, really simple and easy to use. There was, there was no sort of fuss or anything like that. Um, you didn't have to spend ages trying to get it to work. It, it was just really, really simple, basic, but very, very efficient. Right, let's bring this one back over here. We're going to end up missing a little bit, I think. Oh, no, we did get it. There we go. Might struggle to rake some of that up. Just a little bit. I know that we're supposed to, we supposed we do have a track here, but we've it's not used enough that it's caused any serious ruts in the ground, so we can get over this without too much trouble. There is a bit of a bouncy spot right there. The last field that I cut, I would actually like you to see that one being done because that one's got some very rough it is very rough ground. I don't think we're gonna be able to actually plow that field up very well. I think that's one field that we're gonna have to leave as a grass field. This one here we can plow this one up. This one will be able to plow up without any trouble whatsoever. Um, I'm seriously considering removing that tree before we do the plowing, although I'm not sure. What do you guys think of that? Me cutting down some of the trees that are in the middle of the fields. I know some people really hate the idea of chopping down trees that are in the middle of the fields. Other people just have worked around trees for a long time and find them really frustrating to keep driving around. I don't own this field. That's not the kind of thing that I want to see. I've got lot. I've got lots of hay here. I need to turn my hay. It allowed me to mow. I'm allowed to cut it, but I'm not allowed to turn it into hay. This is great. Um, I think we are going to have to buy this field and do something with it. <laughs> yeah. Um, if we go back along there in a minute, we'll be able to 
make it work a little bit better. So my question for this week is, do you want me to buy a replacement vitamin? Um, due to me updating the mod and it disappearing from the map, I decided that what we would do is we would say that it's been stolen. So our vitamin was stolen. The insurance company are refusing to pay out because we didn't have that gate there locked and uh, closed and locked, despite the fact that thieves can just go on the other track and come round. You know what insurance companies are like? Slippery little weasels, they will try to get out of anything they can if you're with the wrong company. So not only are we going to be changing the people that we insure our products with, our farm with, um, but unfortunately we are now down a vitamin and no way of replacing it except out of our own pocket. So there is one available at the dealership. Um, just by a pure stroke of luck, there is one that we could buy if we wanted to. Do you want me to buy a replacement vitamin? Yes or no? It's your vote. It's your game. Head into the comment section down below. Let us know which one you want and why. And of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner. Um, I'm trying to decide if I should finish all of the hay turning before next episode or if I should do a bit more in the next episode. I will do some of it. I'll at least finish this field and we'll get down to the other end and we'll do some down there. And we've got raking that we need to do. I suspect what I will do is I will finish this field. We'll go down the other end and we will turn one of the fields down there and then I can finish doing the rest of it in my own time. And then we will get started on rowing the fields up. I'm still really tempted to go and use the hay bob. Look, I can get I can get some of this grass. It's going to be a little tiny... Oh, I'm actually... I think I'm just getting... I think I was only like a tiny, tiny fraction... Oh, no, no, no. Let me move over a little bit. See, it's, it's only a little bit too close to that other field. Is it, there's not much in it, really. Don't own this field. It's a little tiny bit there as well. There really isn't a lot in it. That is barely even enough to just um, to stop me from doing any turning at all, that last bit. Anyway, um, yeah. What was I saying? I will turn some of this, and so I'd like you to see the last field that I cut, because it's like really rough all around the edges. I don't think that we're going to be able to plough it. And then we could start doing the um, the turning and uh, the the rowing up. And I'm still, like I said, tempted to use the hay bob, even though it would probably be better if we use a slightly bigger rake. It would certainly be a lot quicker anyway. I'll worry about that between now and tomorrow's episode, and then we can um, sort of deal with it. But if you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.